Hi guys and ladies, I found a catfish recipe online recently. It made my mouth water. Best of all, it's easy. I know very little though about catching catfish. Ah, but I know a little about catching bass, bluegill, and crappie. Their flesh is similar, white, mild fish, right? So how about if we try to catch something, anything, so that we can give this recipe a try. I'm going to start with this, this little orange rubbery bait from Action Plastics. It's two and a half inches long. I've caught just about everything in the lake on this. It's March and the temperature today is just 45 degrees. So let's hope it works in the muddy cold water of Lake Catch a Big One. Let's get out there and see what happens. That's a good crappie. I think it's a bluegill. <laughs> it is a bluegill. Oh, it's substantial enough for a dinner. Well, at least part of a dinner. Mm, mm, mm. Another fish. <laughs> Another crappie. Wow, and they're all big. Gosh darn, gosh darn. That is huge. 13 and a quarter. It's at least 13. Wow, nice. Little bass. Little bass right at the boat. <laughs> this is going to be perfect for eating. Another crappie. What's going on here? Wow. And they're all big. Wow. My goodness. Nice. <laughs> had been a while, but I got another good eating bass. Bass are delicious. Little guy. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. I scared some ducks. This is perfect eating. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased. Something. Something. It's a gilly. Ooh. Oh yeah. Edible. Nice little guy. Looky here, I've got like eight nice fish. I need to start filleting them if I'm ever gonna start on that recipe. I had a blast fishing today. I managed to get about three pounds of fish fillets. But here, I'll use just one pound. I'm alone tonight because my usual date, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is 
at the Food Critics Convention in Beverly Hills, California. But I need this time alone to work on these experimental recipes. Well, like this one for catfish, which isn't catfish. Now, time to get dicey. So this is what I mean about getting dicey. We have to finely dice these fish fillets. Here goes a half cup of diced onions. Now in goes a half cup of diced green bell peppers. I'm squeezing about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I never know how much salt to add. I think like a quarter teaspoon. Same with the pepper. I never know. Let's mix it up real well. There's a large egg. Now I'll just pour it in there and I'll mix it a little more. Here is where it gets even stranger. The recipe says to add three quarters cup of Bisquick. Well, that stuff is very high in carbs. And if you know me, I like to restrict carbs when I can. So here I have something with only one twelfth the carbs. It's called Carb Quick. Let's add this instead. So you know what? This stuff is too dry. I'm going to add another egg. Maybe I use too much carb quick. Oh, it's looking much better now. Before I make my patties, I'm going to put a whole stick of butter in this big skillet. I'm just going to cover the bottom of the skillet now with a thin layer of this peanut oil. must be 20 of them here. Let's see what happens. Already they're falling apart. Not too bad. I got them all in and they didn't break. I can't believe it. <laughs> that extra egg helped. I'm thinking two and a half minutes on side one and two and a half minutes on side two because that fish is in there and we need to get into the center and make sure it's cooked. Whoa. Just another minute or so on side two. Oh, they smell great. Mm-hmm. I have to remember the order in which I put them in. Oh, yeah. Last one out is a rotten bass. Oh, look at that. They really, really came out at least looking good and smelling good, but you know, the final test is yet to come. This is my favorite tartar sauce. It's really a burger sauce. Great. Now, I already had a little, I have to admit. I'm going to have a little more. Mm. know how to describe these. There's a bit of doughiness and I get the slightest hint of eating a pancake. <laughs> but the flavor is great. For such simple seasonings, uh, there's enough intensity here, probably mostly from the onions and of course I can taste the, the bell pepper too. Um, I like these a lot. Next time maybe I'll try making them with coconut or almond flour. This is super though as is. Some people say I'm nuttier than a fish cake. Well, I don't care. I had a lot of fun today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a little fun too. All the best to you.